I've done it. It was a massive chore. I've stayed up in the early hours of the morning to bring you a round one roundup of Masters 2023. So I'm going to say it. First things first, this is Tiger's last ever Masters. It's got to be. As much as that breaks my heart, watching him play round one, I was absolutely wincing. Like, get down in the comments. What do you think of this? Like, guys, we're up late here. And also, please do hit that thumbs up button. Show the appreciation for bringing you this video. But what, what do you think? Did you see him walking down? Like, the right, okay. So, the, the example I'm going to give you here is the 18th. 18th round one. Ball was so far above his feet, he had one foot out of the bunker, one foot in the bunker. He hit this shot, and it was just like, oh, you could see the wince on his face, like, as he bounced back. Like, he didn't want to put any more pressure on it. He just looked like, I hate to say it, but a broken man. And there's been some interviews that he's done pre-Masters and after round one that really confirms this for me. I think this year could be the last time we see him play all four, and the last time definitely at the Masters. Like, one thing I would say... When will golf let him go? I think it's golf right now that needs him more than he needs the golf. Like, I'm not talking a financial aspect. Yes, I know he's searching to get the all-time major record and to beat Jack Nicklaus. I know that. But I think it's golf holding on to him right now. And I'm going to be honest. I think golf needs to let him go. So he shot a plus 274 round one. This has put him right now just inside the cut line. And he goes off in round two today at 18.24 UK time. So will he make the cut first and foremost? I'm going to be perfectly honest right now. I think he withdraws. I think he withdraws this round or he misses the cut. It is such a shame to see him in this space. We all thought seeing him at the start of the year, the genesis that he was back. He looked back to him, his old self hitting these long drives. But what you didn't see is him going round Augusta National. This golf course is incredibly hilly, so undulating. You have to stand and put pressure on other parts of your body. You didn't know you had to playing a general PGA Tour golf course, playing a general golf course in general. So let me read this quote for you. So this came um, and I found this from CBS News. So Tiger Woods, 47. This is what he is quoted saying. I don't know how many more I have in me, Wood said to answer a question from CNN Sports, Dan Riddle. So, just to be able to appreciate the time I have here and cherish the memories. Appreciate the time I have and cherish the memories. In other quotes, after round one, he said he was out there in constant pain. Constant pain. I don't know how much longer he can go on with this. So, as well as Tiger Woods, which is a really sad story, and hopefully you can sort of see, actually, like, when he won in 2019, I 100% cried. Like, he is my hero for golf, and to see him in this space, I don't know, it, make, it makes me sad. But other people that have withdrawn already from, I'm saying like he's withdrawn already, but other people, I feel like he has, the way he looks. But anyway, other people that have actually withdrawn from the Masters this year is Kevin Na is one of the people who withdrawn. And also, world number eight, Will Zalatoris, the first two to withdraw from the Masters in 2023. Will there be many more? Hopefully, Tiger won't add to that list, but I honestly, I can see him being another one that may withdraw or definitely won't make the cut. It makes me so sad. Okay, guys, in no, in other news, let's keep you updated with everything that's been going on at the other end of the leaderboard, right at the top. So, some very noticeable performances. As much as we don't want to say this, Brooks Kepka is looking hot. I know I'm saying that you don't want to see it because he is a live golf player. Live golf player, he won last week in Miami and now he is right up there. Minus seven, tied for the lead alongside Victor Hovland and John Ram. Now, an interesting story with John Ram here. Did you see him on the first hole? He started with a four putt. He started with a four putt and shot minus seven round one of the Masters. Wow. That is seriously impressive. Like a four putt and finish minus seven at the Masters. Out of those three, who looks most impressive to you? I know Hovland is obviously very, very impressive, but the two that have got to be on your radar, 
is obviously Ram, a major champion already, formidable at the start of this year, winning three of five at the start of the year, and Kepka winning twice and making live golf history. He could seal his ticket to the Masters for eternity by winning this week, which I know might ruffle a few feathers, but some seriously, seriously good performances. Another good performance by one of the leading amateurs, Sam Bennett. Wow. Seriously impressive. Congratulations on that. Like, he is looking sure to make the weekend. Now, only in round one, um, and things can change. And when you've got a card in your hand, when you're playing to make the cut the Masters, things aren't easy. But what? an impressive performance so far now this is even more impressive for me now it's nothing to do with how um anybody's playing it's to do with the coverage i have watched what i think was one of the most impressive pieces of tv ever and we have to see more of this and all of you have been reacting all over twitter and i can't wait to share your opinions rory mcelroy ninth hole please please tell me you saw this we got the best insight to what goes through a tour player, an elite tour player's mind, as they played the ninth hole. Now, this was seriously impressive. We saw him from the tee. And when I first saw this, I thought, oh, he's going to walk down the fairway and then we're going to leave him. He had what was an AirPod in, I think, and basically chatting over phone to two of the presenters. They, he was talking them through the shot, through the putt through what he was feeling, his conversation with his caddy. And in the very last minute, he just took the earpiece out and put it back in after his approach shot. This was honestly the most impressive piece of TV and actually Masters history, the first time it's ever been done there. And please, 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 let's have it every single round, including round four. This is just what we've got to expect. This is what we want to see from a TV perspective. This is the best coverage because we're getting an insight we've never had. For most of us, including myself, we don't know what goes on in Rory's mind, Scheffler's mind, Rahm's mind, Brooks' mind. But we want to know. This is what we want to see as a golfer. This is what we want to see as some of the best content. So, fair play. Now, let me read some of your reactions here because this is insane. Vernon K, what a name this is. Live walking commentary with Rory at the Masters at his bonkers thumbs up. Um, another one here from Harry McCann. Fascinating to hear Rory McIlroy do an on-course mid-round live interview. Cool, calm, collected, despite the fact he's competing as one of the favourites in one of the biggest golf tournaments this year. Kelly Summers said Rory McIlroy making Masters history, speaking to CBS and the world on the green. Incredible insight and TV. Another great one here from Joe said Rory McIlroy doing a walk and talk mid-round. Uh, the Masters, hashtag game changer. Now, I don't get this. We've got one here in from Dean as well saying, why on earth is Rory talking to these clowns in the commentary box? Maybe he should just concentrate on his golf. Come on, Dean. I'm Sorry, mate. I can't agree with you there. Like, this has got to become part and parcel with being a top-level professional golfer and providing not only some great golf, but also entertainment. Golfers are now in the entertainment business. I know you might not agree with that. They're professionals, but we want to see this. Dean, I run 100% don't agree with you, mate. This was, for me, some of the best piece of TV I have ever, ever, ever seen. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do hit the thumbs up button. Show the appreciation. And if you do want to see another one of these, these roundups after round two, let us know down in the comments box. I do hope you enjoyed the video.